up y'all and welcome back to another one heading out back to start another shotgun video since the last one that we did man y'all came through i have to say thank you and i mean it uh, i asked for y'all's opinions y'all's comments down below in the old comment section of what y'all want to see if you like the shotgun videos you gotta let me know but if you like the shotgun videos, you also got to let me know what you want to see. What do you want to learn about? What do you want me to learn about? What do you want me to try? I call these videos the Mythbuster videos. And what I mean by that is uh, we take theories or ideas or old myths and we try to break them in hunting or shotguns or ammunition, whatever. I have a couple coming up. We're going to do the wet shell test. We're going to take all the brands that I can find. Shotgun shells, especially waterfowl steel loads. Yep, because we all know in waders and stuff, our shells always get wet. We're going to test them. We're going to get them wet. We're going to keep them wet. We're going to test which ones do better than others. And then I got a very, very special one that's already done up and waiting for y'all to see it. So first of all, these videos are straight to the point. I do not drag them out. At least I don't try to drag them out. Basically, these videos are just straight to the point. No BS. You know what I mean? And one thing you can always, always expect on these shotgun Mythbuster videos is a good old giveaway. All right, guys, I warned y'all about the creep out there trying to steal your guys' money. Yeah, there's a spam guy trying to spam y'all into, uh, we covered it the last video, but anybody that hasn't heard about it, there is someone out there trying to spam you guys and myself by saying, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, basically commenting on the videos, these ones, like three days after they go up, thinking I won't see the comments. Well, your boy's smarter than that, and I'm gonna be here to protect y'all. Just a reminder on any of these giveaways, most of them are small, they are not big like a compound bow, and I would never expect you to pay for shipping or anything. So do not give your information to somebody that tries to reach out to you on this, on your comment down below. First of all, like I said, and that was just a he heads up, I want you all to be safe and I don't want someone stealing your money. Uh, first of all, I, actually this is second of all, we're gonna give away, I usually do the giveaways at the end of the video, I'm gonna switch it up this time. We're gonna give away a Sand Hill Flyaway hat, lightly used by your boy, Bob himself. And um, to enter that giveaway, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below, but the comment has to be a video suggestion. Any video suggestion really, but, oh, I about busted my, you know what, but about these shotgun videos. I love doing the Mythbuster shotgun videos. They're right at home, they're easy for me, and they're entertaining for y'all. So I, re, I really want to get into these and do better ones, riskier ones, ones that catch the attention. You know what I mean? So, all you gotta do, drop a comment down below, shotgun video ideas, and you will be entered to win the hat. Watch out for the spam. Watch out for the creeps out there, y'all. And believe me, I have blocked that guy every account he has. I have reported him to YouTube, so hopefully he's gone forever, but probably not. All right, we're gonna use the old podcast station here. Uh, today, what we're gonna be using is my brand new Benelli 20 gauge. It is an SB3, and the reason why I wanna use it is because Benelli sends an entire choke kit uh, with it, with every choke, a choke tool, everything. I love getting guns from, from Benelli. They're always very well set up. They come with oil, they come with everything you need. Like this box of chokes that is not opened yet. And we will get to that. I will get to my biggest secret about chokes at the end of the video, so stick around. Uh, and it's something that y'all need to hear and learn and really try to do for yourself because when I decided to do it and when I was told to do it by a friend, which we will get into that again, it changed my game. It changed my shooting game for the better. That'll be at the end of this. But what we're gonna do, okay. I'm gonna use a 20 gauge, it's easy to throw around. I haven't used it much in videos. Today's video, it doesn't matter if you have a 20 gauge, a 410, well, not a 410. Most 410s don't take screwable chokes. Uh, but 20 gauge, 410, lots of 28 gauge, 16 gauge, 10 gauge, all of that. With chokes and choke sizes, um, and options. So today is about what size choke do we want to use for the scenario that we're in. So if we're skeet shooting, shooting sporting clays, uh, dove hunting, rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting, pigeon hunting, goose hunting, duck hunting, 
crane hunting, right? So we'll go through all that. And I want to do just a series of patterns um, on paper so you guys can kind of see the difference. Cause there's a lot of new hunters, a lot of new duck hunters, a lot of new shotgun hunters in the industry. And I want to be here to help you guys. All right, I think this is where we need to start. So guys, when you buy a new shotgun like this and you open it up and you start seeing all of these choke options, right? This is what it comes with. I believe that this one, this extended choke here, was actually installed on the gun when I got it out of the case. But first off, let's start here. This is A, how you read these. This says, sorry, I got the old light on here. Need some extra help here. Uh, this says, Steel Shot OK CL. Okay, so that's hard to understand if we don't know what it's telling us. What it's saying is, yes, you can put Steel Shot through this. So that's the first thing to always look at your factory chokes and read them. If they allow Steel Shot or if they do not allow Steel Shot. So it says Steel Shot OK, so that means yes. And then CL, what does CL mean? That means cylinder. That's just a cylinder choke. So basically it's an open cylinder. Basically it's matching the inner cylinder of your barrel size. Long story short. So that would be something that we use for uh, all of our, I would say really for uh, clays, for like skeet, sporting clays, those cl closer 20 yard fast clays that you need to have a bigger pattern for, okay? but you can put steel through it. Uh, the next size is this, and it is an extended choke. Looks really cool, it's got some knurling on the top. It says, steel shot, okay, IC. What does IC mean? You can write all these down too, and if I was you, I would. Improved cylinder. So that's an extended, steel shot approved, improved cylinder. So improved cylinder, again, is the size. If it was me, I would use an improved cylinder. Um, I used an improved cylinder probably for the first year and a half of the YouTube channel for geese and ducks with number two shot. And I'm telling you, it was absolute lights out. So if you uh, are one of them guys that are like, man, I don't really like a mod. I'll tell you, improved cylinder with a number two, three inch shell, lights out. And I mean it, lights out. Uh, I always preach, um, man, get a full. If you guys can shoot a full and you're comfortable with it, do it. If you're not, shoot something else that you are comfortable with. All right, we're going to keep running through these just to give you guys uh, some info. So next one, the next size going up would be, it says no steel shot on it. That's the first thing it says. And this is all writing that you guys are not going to be able to see on camera. So I'm just going to read it for you. No steel shot dash i am improved mod okay so an improved mod is just a little tighter than a modified you know what i mean so it'll go open cylinder or you can call it cylinder improved cylinder right modified improved mod full that's how she gets tighter as she goes up so no steel shot do not put steel shot through these chokes that say no steel shot. I don't care if you're like, man, but I just really want an improved mod tomorrow for the duck hunt. It doesn't matter. That choke, the alloys, the steel, how it's made and manufactured is not capable of holding steel. It'll probably mess it up or blow it up or blow it out of your choke and strip your threads. Who knows? It's not, it's not safe. The next one, boy howdy, no steel. These, and these chrome ones like this, they are not extended chokes. They don't st stick out uh, past the end of your barrel like this, like mine does on this one, and I will describe this one. Uh, this says no steel, no steel shot dash F. What does the F mean? Full. So they give you a plethora of, um, of chokes to use here, uh, but for duck hunting, steel shot, you know, if you're, if you're needing to use steel shot for, let's say, cranes, ducks, geese, or whatever. Um, they gave you an open cylinder and they gave you an improved cylinder, which um, the improved cylinder extended one, like I said, I like that choke. I, I do, I, I really do. So what we're getting at, I don't know if we're gonna be able to go out and shoot. The wind is, 
that's why I'm still in here. The wind is blowing at uh, probably 50 mile an hour and it's just gonna knock uh, my shooting paper. It's not gonna be able to stay on the board and the audio is just gonna be blown to bits. So this is just a little sneak peek for y'all. I know I haven't done it yet. I've been waiting for the wind to go down for me to show you the boat. For everybody that is here right now, mm -hmm. that's it, that's it. Uh, when we do do the boat video, as you can tell, it's a duck hunting boat and I'm literally modifying it to be a fishing boat so I can use it for fishing in the summer and duck hunting in, in the winter, but aluminum trailer, I'll, I'll go over all the stats and what it is and we'll both uh, take it out and rip it uh, once it's not uh, gale force winds out. All right, um, this is what I'm getting to. And this is what I really wanna tell you all you guys. And first off, before I say this, um, in these shotgun videos, um, I would say 90%, 95% of you that come here want to learn something. And not only that, but you want to also, in a positive manner, spread your knowledge uh, down in the comment section. And I really applaud you guys that are positive-minded and just help out others down there. And you might even teach me something that I don't know, and that is perfectly fine. I appreciate whenever you guys tell me something I don't know or I need to know. So first of all, I do not claim to be uh, the best shot gunner. I just know that I have a presence here on YouTube and I wanna share it and help all of you. So first off, the last video, a guy was like, a guy that never took gun safety and now he's allowed to make gun review videos or gun safety videos, shake my damn head. Guys, whatever, you can say whatever you wanna do but you could be here doing the same thing I am. And if you had the chance or if you would have built the opportunity like I did all the time it took to do it, this was not easy and it was not handed to me, you would be doing it also. And you would wanna be helping the hunting public like I want to, that's my job. So, wanted to get that out of the way. What I've been wanting to get to with you guys is this tip here. The best thing that was ever told to me and it was probably Man, that was three years ago, maybe even four, three and a half to four years ago. Uh, I took Preston and my buddy Noah. We all three went snow goose hunting in uh, northern Missouri um, with my buddy. And um, we had another buddy there that he actually owns a, uh, it's actually Snows Down Low, the uh, snow goose e-collar company. And he has been hunting snow geese for a long time and we all know Snow geese are hard to kill. They're hard to kill because they're hard to get down close enough in abundance, right? So a lot of times you're taking them high shots. So I, I didn't know this yet. Uh, we were hunting and we had two volleys of birds within you know, 30, 30 minutes, 20 minutes come and they were all at about 45 to 55 yards off. And that's as close as we could get them. And I'm like, that's gonna be the distance all day right there. Well, I think I had in, I always like the Carlson cremator chokes and ducks is uh, ducks waterfowl. We are coming out with them uh, for all you guys. And they're in an awesome, like tan nomad color. It's awesome. Uh, but anyways, I had in my, what was that? Uh, modified, I believe a modified just like this one. Uh, but this is a long range. I had it in and I switched it. And we shot at the next birds and they were a little higher. So I'm like, oh, put the long range back in. And my buddy looked over at me and he has some years on me. I would say he's probably 10, 12, 15 years older than me. I don't know, 12 years, 10 years older than me. And he goes, Bob, you got to stop. You got to stop. I'm like, what, 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 I, what I do wrong? He said, you have to stop changing your choke out right now. I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, stop, pick one and leave it in there, leave it in the gun. Take it out, the only time you take it out is to clean the threads when you clean your shotgun, put it back in. I'm like, why? He was like, because the more, right now you're trying to learn how to shoot those geese at any altitude, anything, and you keep messing up your equipment system, it's gonna mess you up. You have to pick something and just get used to it. And I'm like, well, what if I have a full choke in and I wanna go dove hunting? He was like, leave it in. What if I have a full choke in and I want to go teal hunting? He said, leave it in. He said, just pick your shot accordingly. So that's what I would say. No matter when it comes to hunting, guys, pick a choke, leave it in. If you're a beginner, don't go straight to a full choke. 
go to that extended improved cylinder and get an aftermarket one if you want one. But build up your shootability, you handling that gun safely, it becoming part of you, all those things lead to better shooting. You don't get better shooting because you put in a different choke. It does not matter, especially when you're green, right? So the one thing that was told to me, and I applied it to my hunting career, because that's what it is, was to pick a choke and leave it in. And when I did that, everything changed. I got used to my setup, and whatever shell I put in it ran. It ran well, and I, and I killed with it. I had My shooting percentage went up tremendously. So when you go hunting, guys, don't take another choke with you. Just don't. Unless you just got one in the bag. But you don't need to be changing them out on hunts. If you're going skeet shooting, okay, yes. Put in the, the, the open cylinder. Put in the improved cylinder. Whatever. Absolutely. Because if you're trying to hit a clay that big, sideways, that much, instead of a bird, and you're trying to nick the clay and it's going to shatter, well, we're trying to kill the bird, right? Ethically, with good penetration and everything. So, long story short, I'm done babbling. I'm done, I'm done. Uh, you guys can take this with you or you can ignore it. But I would say, if you're one of the guys that keeps stressing chokes, 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 I'm gonna tell you, if you're trying to get your shot better, changing your choke um, is not gonna help you. You have to go practice, essentially. You have to practice, practice, practice. And those practice, practice, put in a choke that you're gonna be hunting with. Get used to shooting clays with it. If you can get good at shooting clays with a full choke, you know, obviously you're gonna be using seven and a half shot, two and three quarter uh, lead shells, right? When you go to that three inch, two, two shot, um, and you've been whacking them, whacking clays with a full choke, you're gonna be able to operate that full choke just fine. So, again, um, the theory of, uh, well, I use this, or you should use that, or, you know, I've always used this, and you should do it too. No, you don't have to do what anybody else does. You don't have to do what I do. Just pick a choke and leave it in your gun. Get used to shooting birds. Get used to shooting everything with it. Honestly, man, unless you're a uh, competition trap guy or something, right, and you're just a hunter like me that likes to go, you know, throw back some brews and drink, and, 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 <laughs> and shoot clays in the backyard with the boys, um, pick a choke and leave it in. I mean, honestly. Uh, chokes, I don't understand why they're so hot and we want to talk about them so much and they're going to be a saving grace to our shooting and everything. No, we get better at shooting through raw practice. Practice, practice. I have, uh, which we're about done here, but I wanted to say that I have been an awful speckle belly goose caller um, all of my hunting career. And it's pretty emb embarrassing when you have clients in and you can't call those specs very well. Well, th times have changed. I have dedicated going on a month, right out a month, every single evening blowing my spec call for at least two hours with breaks in between, right? And uh, I'm going to make a video of it. It's pretty amazing. I'm pretty... Not pretty, I am extremely proud of myself. I never thought I was gonna be able to blow a spec call like I am right now, and it only took, you know, three weeks every evening. So, same thing with shooting. Practice, practice, practice. Yes, I get a lot of pigeon hunts during the summer. That keeps me fresh, right? Go pigeon hunting, go clay shooting, get your practice in. You're not just gonna be able to be a, a guy that hunts four times a year, and you're green anyways, and be able to not shoot a gun or a shotgun or a bird or a clay all summer long and then pick it up until season and just completely crush. You gotta practice, especially when you're new to the sport. My spill's over and I'm done. If you have any questions regarding anything I said or any input to add, honestly, cause uh, there's a lot of guys my age out there, a lot of dads, a lot of grandfathers, a lot of experienced hunters. Tell us, what do you like using, you know? And, like I said at the beginning, I'm sorry this wasn't an actual shooting video outside, but the audio and everything would have just been blown out, and uh, I don't think it would have added a whole bunch anyways. So, if you guys want to win the old hat, remember, do not give your money away to scam artists. I would never ask for a penny of your guys' money, but all you have to do to win that hat on this video is to drop 
a video comment. Basically something you want me to do here or explain. It can be duck hunting, shotgun shells, chokes, uh, boats, my life. I have some awesome videos coming up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm not going to make it any longer. Stay safe out there. Get your practice in. Honestly, rally the boys. Practice once a month. Shoot some clays. Go through some shells. Uh, subscribe if you have not. Hit that notification bell, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. But until next time. Pessimism